When writing the history of the show Victoria, when the show is over, no doubt they will talk about the character of Lord Melbourne as the decisive factor to make the show to stand out in the competitive world of television shows in the 21st century and has achieved a great initial success. Very few people will doubt that Lord Melbourne was the absolute star in the first season, eclipsing the rest of the characters, even Victoria herself sometimes. It is also difficult to doubt that Vicburn's death on the show was a turning point for the series, and that Lord Melbourne's departure from the show in the first season also implied another turning point, a before and after, which made the show no longer the same, regardless of positive or negative or mixed views of each person and in a second season that generated mixed feelings and contradictory opinions, without a doubt the fact that generated most expectation and emotion was the reappearance of Lord Melbourne, and his disappearance returned to generate collective depression. It's a pity that such a wonderful character as Lord Melbourne, one of the best, in television dramas set in past times, has had such a short travel and has been so little explored by demands of the script and history. I think we will never live long enough, to regret sufficiently that there was not a show exclusively based on Vicburn, at that stage when they were together before Victoria's engagement. And we must thank Rufus Sewell for his great work, no doubt he is a great actor, very versatile, but I think he was born to play characters in dramas set in eras past, and especially in those set in England of the centuries 18 and 19. He is the perfect archetype of the English aristocrat of those centuries, and better yet he is in a role of romantic hero. We must also thank the excellent chemistry between him and Jenna Coleman, a wonderful and charming chemistry, and we all want to see them together in another production where they share much more than a chaste kiss on the cheek. It is also a pity that Lord Melbourne was absent from the middle of the first season, and that he was demoted and minimized, reduced to, to an insignificant and inconsequential role in the second season. The Victoria's relationship with Lord M after her wedding could have been used as an element to generate a lot of tension between Victoria, Lord M, and Albert as a kind of very special love triangle, and that would have been very interesting. On the other hand, the character of Lord Melbourne is only interesting, at least in fiction, in the context of Vicburn. Lord Melbourne's relationship with Caroline is not interesting and it seems absurd to represent another story where Lord M is again the loser and is much more humiliated, in that love triangle with Lord Byron, as if being a loser in front of Albert would not have it was enough. Now that the Lord Melbourne of Rufus, and of Daisy Goodwin, of course, has disappeared from the screen, we can only keep it alive in the memory and the fanfic universe. We invite fans of Vicburn and Lord Melbourne to join the Facebook groups, for the love of Vicburn. Victoria and Lord M and Victoria, ITV and PBS, discussion and debate, in which you will find an ambience nice to comment, to discuss, and share lovely things.